Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make wafer paper Gerbera. Using the techniques from this video, you can make colorful, bright, realistic flowers that remain soft and pliable for a long time. I have a lot of useful information to share with you guys. Let's not waste any more time and begin. To make wafer paper Gerbera we will need Silicon molds of two different sizes, silicon mats or craft mats, brushes, I like to use flat brushes, wire, template, paper towel, a few sheets of thin wafer paper, green floral tape, pliers, scissors, couscous, color palette, a glass, vodka, glycerin, gel food colors, empty mechanical pencil and cornstarch. For one Gerbera you will need four large petals, three to six medium petals and six small ones. First, Trace a shape of large and medium petals using an empty mechanical pencil. Then cut 3 to 4 petals at a time. To make small petals, cut wafer paper squares a little bit smaller than the medium petal from the template. You will need total of 6 squares. Then free cut them 3 petals at a time. I recommend making tiny thin petals so the Gerbera will look fluffier. Now we are ready to color the flower. To make coloring liquid, combine half a teaspoon of glycerin with one tablespoon of vodka and one tablespoon of water. Gerberas can be any color you like. I made them red, yellow, orange and pink. Usually I like to mix different colors to make a more realistic flower. But red, for example, overpowers everything. And that's why I use just red gel food coloring for red Gerbera. The trick for a realistic look in this case is to color the petals in pale red first and then to make a few brush strokes with a darker color, moving the brush from the center of the flower to the edge. Then you need to flip the petals and color their back side. If they are too sticky, you can dust them with cornstarch using a fluffy brush. 
cornstarch will absorb extra moisture and it will be easier to flip the petals. Now color the back side of the petals. This step is optional, but I prefer the small and medium petals to dry in silicone molds. The petals will get a nice cup shape and it will be easier to assemble the flower later. If you don't have the mold, let the petals dry for a few hours on a flat mat and spray them slightly from the spray bottle before the assembly. petals are too sticky, use cornstarch or let them dry slightly before transferring them to the mold. Then let them dry completely for a couple of hours. I also added a short quick video of how I colored the petals for yellow and orange flowers. So you can see the colors I used. The technique is the same, lighter base color and brighter brush strokes coming from the center of the flower. I always follow the rule, don't be afraid to add too much color. The more shades you use, the more interesting and realistic is the result. Gerbera has a unique signature center and to make it form a small spiral using pliers and wire, but don't make it too big. As for the thickness of the wire, any gauge from 18 to 26 will work well. This is a perfect size for the center. Then apply water to a small piece of wafer paper and form a center. I still have a little bit of red food coloring on my brush, but it doesn't matter, since we will color the center later. If necessary, you can add another piece of wafer paper. Apply a lot of water or wafer paper glue to the top part of the center to make it sticky and dip it into couscous. Now 
color it in dark brown gel food coloring. It looks incredibly realistic and I can't wait to use it for the flower. petals become dry, it's time to assemble the flower. Attach the smallest petals first using water or wafer paper glue. Press them slightly to make a cup-shaped look, then attach medium petals. There are two ways to attach large petals. First is to attach them one after another to the center of the flower. Second is to glue them together first and after that attach to the flower. Both ways work equally well. To be honest, I don't have any preference. Look at this perfect vibrant flower! Now it's time for the final touches! I would like to show you how to make a wafer paper semisphere by using wafer paper cut-offs. I like to save them and use for different cake decorating projects, such as this cake decor or wafer paper pine cone. Please feel free to check these videos if you haven't seen them yet.
Since Gerbera has a thick stem, we can use paper towel stripes to make it thicker. Then wrap it using floral tape. As a final step, color white wafer paper in green matching the color of the tape. I like to mix leaf green, neon green and brown gel food coloring. That's it! I hope you found this video useful and inspiring. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, leave me comments and thumbs up, so I can see that these tutorials are useful and will post more of them. Thank you for watching! Bye!